Hi everybody, uh, thanks for checking out my Kickstarter. My name is Patrick Mitchell and I am uh, the owner of Engineering Shock Electronics, a very, very small electronics company. Um, I specialize in electronic design uh, and this is my version 1 supercapacitor flashlight. Uh, it's pretty bright. Uh, I uh, put this together for the first time two years ago, haven't had to open it since. It will likely last longer than I do. Uh, it's supercapacitor base, there is a 200 farad 5.4 volt capacitor bank inside. Uh, I sell the electronics, you do the mounting, uh, and uh, yeah, so the supercapacitor flashlight that I'm trying to build talks to you. It says, uh, it'll tell you when the, when you plug it in uh, that the capacitors are charging, at what percent it's being charged at, 20, 40, 80, uh, 60, 80, and then uh, flashlight charged. It will actually tell you this, and I'm going to show you this in just a minute. We're going to talk about the block diagram, We're gonna show, I'm going to show you the circuitry. Uh, I need funding for some of my new projects because I've got about six or seven new ideas. I don't know if the interest is out there. Uh, it does cost a lot of money to uh, to get the PCBs manufactured. The PCB for this new one is done, uh, but it does cost a lot to get the PCBs manufactured and populated. Otherwise, I have to populate myself, and that takes uh, hours and hours and hours. So that's what this is for. I'm hoping that uh, I can convince you into to donating some of your hard-earned money into my projects, and of course, I've got many different rewards to offer you. Uh, do check out my other Kickstarters if I don't, uh, I should have some up within the next couple days. Uh, let's talk about the block diagram. This is the block diagram. 9 volt 1 amp adapter plugs into the charger board. As soon as the, that happens, the onboard LED flashes three times, and the device says flashlight charging. Uh, power is then applied to the 200 farad 5.4 volt uh, capacitor bank. Uh, it's actually two 400 farad 2.7 volt capacitors in series. It charges to about 5.2 volts before completely isolating the charge, uh, uh, the charger and the capacitor bank, so there's no back powering through the system. Uh, when when the capacitor bank is done charging, the LED will flicker three times as well. The uh, speaker will say "flashlight charged," and it will say that every couple of minutes. I haven't decided the duration yet, just so that you can, you know, it lets you know, hey, you can unplug me now, I'm ready to go. Anyhow, here's the on-off switch. Once, once, uh, once it's charged, you can remove the 9-volt adapter, and the power is stored in the capacitor bank. You flip this LED switch, or sorry, this, uh, this toggle switch, and it applies power from the LED bank through to a voltage booster. You can tune that actually anywhere between uh, the input voltage, which would be about 5.2 volts, and 34 volts. But we have to tune it to either 8 to tw 8 or 12 volts, or anywhere in between. At 8 volts, you get about a half an hour to 40 minutes of uh, luminescence on the LED array. At 12 volts, you only get about 15 minutes, but it's blinding. It's really, really bright. So uh, these two are connected. The LED bank the 20 has 24 hybrid LEDs on it. Um, yeah, so the process would be during assembly, um, take your charger board, plug in the speaker, easy, it's just a two-pin a two header, connect your capacitor bank, I'll be making a video for this, and uh, in the voltage booster, what you would do is you would apply power from the charger bank to the voltage booster, tune the voltage booster to either 8 to 12 volts, then connect the LED array, because you don't want to put more than 12 volts in the LED array, because that's what it's rated for. Anyhow, I'm going to talk about this now. This is version 1. That, I that I'm going to show you in just a minute, and this is version 2 that's coming out. The current board that I have, and, uh, and I'll be showing you in just a minute, the one that's actually in my flashlight, is 1.34 inches by 3.94 inches. The new one uh, has a slightly larger width, it's 1.7 inches by 3.16 inches. And uh, this has, the, uh, has an extra uh, chip on it, it's also got a couple extra components, uh, and so it, it is a little bit bigger, it's not actually this large, on uh, the board, it's not a scale, but it should fit relatively easily into a big flashlight, such as the one I just showed you. Um, so you could actually use the output here. This is the uh, right here, or the the uh, capacitor bank outputs. Uh, you could put that onto a a different LED bank. You don't necessarily need the booster either, which is why I've got different rewards that include different things. So let's talk about the circuitry. This is the board as it currently is. Eight volts output to the LED bank. Um, it's about, it looks actually twice as bright at 12 volts. Here's the voltage booster with calibration uh, uh, output, so you can calibrate between the input voltage and 34 volts. We'll stick to 8 to 12 volts. On-off switch, LED, 5.4 volt, 200 farad LED bank. The old charger board without the audio chip on it. Uh, but this is a simulator right here. I'll show you that in a second. And here's your DC jack. Now it comes with a 9 volt adapter right here. What happens when I plug it in? 
LED blowing street times, charging commences. Now, what would happen with the board that I'm trying to develop is this. It would say... Flashlight charging. Flashlight charging. As the charge in the capacitor banks got larger... So, once the flashlight was charged, it would say, flashlight charged, maybe once a minute, until you unplug it. Just reminding you, hey, don't need to have this plugged in anymore, and, you know, you're ready to go. So, again, I can tune this to 12 volts. Let me tune it to 12 volts to show you how bright it is. Again, this is how bright it is at 8 volts. Let me show you 12 volts. 12 volts. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed my Kickstarter video. I hope you're uh, as enthusiastic as I am about uh, this project. Uh, I'll be launching many different Kickstarters in the near future because I've got so many ideas. I just need the funding to actually go through with them. I also want to see if there's actually an interest in some of my new ideas. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a great day.